many of us knew William Calusa, Bill Calusa. I, amongst some of you, had the pleasure of serving with him on council and later as mayor. Mr. Calusi was not an ed a trained engineer. Mr. Calusi was a mechanic. Mr. Calusi was also very dedicated to his community and cared about it. And Mr. Calusi repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly again came to council both as a citizen and as a member of council and said, clean up the crib, remove the debris from the crib, get the debris out of the crib, Lori, Joe, Mike, send public works down into the crib and get rid of the debris, the debris. Before he passed away, Mr. Calusi worked with Joe Seitz, our engineer, to come up with a plan for what it was called, a trash rack job? Yes. Yeah. For a trash rack. Now, I must admit that I was skeptical. Personally, I looked at it and said, I don't know that the debris is the only thing or the major thing causing the flooding in our community. On Wednesday, I also had the pleasure of going to the University of Pittsburgh <coughs> to watch a group of students. We are very lucky. Uh, Dr. John Euler, who I only thought of as a historian, because those are the articles that I have read. Dr. Euler is a civil engineer, is an engineer, and with the University of Pittsburgh, and we are so lucky because two groups of students did pro did their senior project for the Borough of Bridgewater. One was on the McLaughlin flooding. It will be available at some point. Um, I would encourage you to listen to the 45-minute presentation. Uh, the individuals compared the June 20th flooding to a September rainfall. The end conclusion, and I leave it to you to, to, to take your own conclusions away from their presentation, what I left with was Bill Calusi was right. They pointed out that the debris, that the, that the, uh, that the, uh, the crib and its orifices, the bridges, appeared to be capable of handling the floodwaters. Now, whether those calculations are accurate, their students, leave it to, uh, to, to others to double check. But if they're right, cleaning the debris out of the creek in Bridgeville and Blocking debris from coming into our community from upstream would appear to be a vital part of the solution there, and a very low cost part of the solution. So I would ask our manager and our engineer to please take a look at the project that was approved by council several years ago, and that if there is something blocking it externally, to make a point of, of reporting on that. So we, that, we actually met with the DEP regarding yes, the trash rack and mm -hmm. the making application form. Yeah, we, have to, we have to obtain uh, a, a, joint permit. a joint permit from the Conservation District and mm -hmm. the DEP, and right. we're moving forward with that. And are you getting any kind of... Because I, I believe no. that there's a lot of external support. They, they had no problem. Excellent. Excellent. That is, that is very good. <coughs> so, See, it worries way ahead of you. Yes. It's on the ball. Yes, I wish she was the head of Councilman Calusi. <laughs> <You know? laughs> because he was the one, and it, 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 is really, it is really nice to remember him and, and his contribution. Thank you, Pat. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, minutes.